Governor Hutchinson, I kid you not, invoked William F. Buckley Jr. and Ronald Reagan in his attempt to recast castrating little kids as conservative. The Republican governor of Arkansas had just vetoed a bill that would prevent perverts from pumping little kids full of cross-sex hormones. And he went on Tucker Carlson's show to defend this decision as conservative. He said that the bill protecting children from this insane secular religion was just a product of the cultural war in America. And so his response, you see, to this cultural war in America was to completely concede, <laughs> to give the left everything. That's how he was going to deal with it. Governor Hutchinson, I kid you not, invoked William F. Buckley Jr. and Ronald Reagan in his attempt to recast castrating little kids as conservative. He appealed to limited government. I do not want to presume to speak for the dead, okay? I didn't know Ronald Reagan. I never even got the chance to meet Buckley. However, I don't think castrating children was a part of their political vision. I don't know. I've read them for a long time, watched a lot of their videos. I love limited government. Limited government is a fine thing. If protecting children from gelding does not fall within those limits, what does? Nothing would. Now, Governor Asa Hutchinson does not want to talk about cultural issues. You see, he wants to focus on much more important issues like the marginal corporate tax rate. Yeah, oh man, that gets our blood pumping, doesn't it? You see, cultural issues such as, oh, I don't know, the definition of marriage, family, killing babies in the womb, how we educate kids, how we educate the whole country, whether little girls need to change in, in front of men at the public pool, what we're allowed to say at school, what we're allowed to say at work, all, all those, oh, that doesn't matter. That's a product of the cultural war, according to Governor Hutchinson. Who even cares about those things? If I'm waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, it's going to be about occupational licensing reform, I think, you know? <laughs> it is. Oh, gosh. I shudder even to think of it. I have only one question for Governor Hutchinson and for those who agree with him. If cultural issues don't matter, why does the left seem to care so much about them? <laughs> have you noticed how much time and energy they spend? Obviously, the left is the aggressor in the culture war. Their problem is the way things are. They don't like the way things are, and so they spend a lot of time and money trying to upend them. If cultural issues don't matter, why is the left so convinced that they do?